What's up guys, it's Alfred and I'm back with another video. So for today's video guys, I'm just going to be giving you all some tips and some tricks for anybody who may be going on prom or graduation or any type of like senior event or any type of like, you know, end of the year event. Also, I don't wanna just cut it off at like seniors or like prom or graduation or something like that. This could be for any type of event that you wanna go to. These are basically just like tips and tricks for like any like upcoming event that you know you like you playing hard for, bitch, you know, like this could be for like a birthday, bitch, this could be for like a wedding, you know, this could be just for anything. So before we get into all of my tips that I wanna share with you all, if you don't know who the fuck I am, if you've never seen my face before, hello, my name is Alfred, nice to meet you. And if you're returning, welcome back, bitch, I miss you. If you don't already, please do not forget to turn on my notifications bell by clicking that little bell down below. It will notify you every time I post a video and you will not regret it. And also guys, this video is in partnership with Wible Style, so I will be demoing some of their products today I worked with why was that like three or two times before already on my YouTube channel so y'all already know if you're an OG subscriber you already know what Wild Style is you already know how we get down with that this is the brand that I use to whiten my teeth when I do have like special events I don't whiten my teeth like 24 7 but I do whiten my teeth when I do go on like special 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 events like prom or graduation or any type of events that I know I'm gonna be taking like photography and I'm gonna be smiling a lot and I just need my teeth to you know be pearly white last but not least please do not forget to give this video a big thumbs up before you leave and let's go ahead and get on to the tips. Okay, so first tip, let's just get it out the way. Make sure your teeth are white. I'm not saying make it look like you just came back from Colombia with some new veneers, bitch. Not saying that. I'm just saying make sure that your teeth are clean, bitch. And my teeth are not the whitest, bitch, but I will be going <laughs> to get my teeth whitened or I will be getting veneers sometime in the future. Can't wait till I get some coin, bitch, because, bitch, I am going to a dentist ASAP. Trust me. Even though my smell's not that bad, bitch, if I got the coin, Trust me, I'm doing the shit. Anyway, that's not what y'all here for. This is their professional teeth whitening kit. And if you're an OG, like I said, you've seen this like two or three times before on my channel already. This entire kit retails for $269.99. But if you use my code, Alfred Lewis, you can save almost 90% and get it for $28. So, bitch, that is a motherfucking deal if I don't know one myself. And also, they have this bamboo charcoal toothpaste. So if you're not familiar with charcoal toothpaste, charcoal helps remove toxins from your breath and from your teeth and it helps remove like build up and stuff. It helps break down like yellowness on your teeth. If you drink like a lot of coffee, charcoal toothpaste will help with like brightening your smile and making sure that the coffee doesn't like stain your teeth and stuff. And the kit along with the toothpaste, bitch can I talk? The kit along with the toothpaste is $37.99. So I feel like that's a good deal. This is a lot of toothpaste so it, could, it should last you a while unless your ass is just like brushing your teeth four times a day then it might not, bitch. The kit comes with 10 milliliters of teeth whitening gel, the customizable trays for your mouth, the LED ring, and it also comes with these vitamin E swabs if you get any of the teeth whitening gel on your gums and it starts to burn or anything. So yeah, if you do have any troubles with like yellow teeth or any staining or anything like that, please go over to Whitewood Style and check over their teeth whitening kit. And don't forget to use my code, Alfred Lewis, to save 90% off, bitch. 90% off? Bitch, you're saving almost like $200. <laughs> like, that's a lot of money. Also, all of the information will be down below as well. Okay, y'all, so second tip. Finding a car. So this was one of my biggest troubles and one of my biggest problems with my prom experience only because I don't have the coin to be dropping thousands of dollars on a Royce Royce, a motherfucking Range Rover, a G-Wagon, a Maserati, all of that expensive shit that motherfuckers be doing. I don't have the coin for that, nor do I have the time to go ahead and book that shit three years in advance. So if you are like me and you're on a budget or you just don't have the time for that shit, I would say definitely look into a website called Turo, T-U-R-O.com. It's basically like Airbnb, but for cars. So basically people put their cars up for rental and you could rent the car for however long you want. So comparable to like Airbnb, B. So people put their apartments or their houses up for rental basically. So that's the same thing with Turo. It's the same type of, you know, situation. They have like luxury cars and they also have like the casual cars like Cadillac, your more classic Benzes and stuff like that. So definitely check out Turo if you are interested in renting a car but you don't want to go through the whole process of going to a dealership and you know, you know, just going through all of that process because I was not about to go through that. That's another thing. But you got to pay for insurance, but you got to have a driver. <sighs> That's a lot. Also, y'all, I know a lot of my friends use Uber. So basically, on the day of their prom, they just made a time slot and schedule a Uber Black. If you don't know what Uber Black is, that's just like the luxury side of Uber. 
So basically they just made a schedule and schedule a Uber Black for the time of their prom send off. And basically the Uber Black came and took them where they needed to go. And bitch, you didn't have to spend all this money on a rental car and when you're just gonna be in it for like 40 minutes to an hour, unless you don't plan on doing anything for that weekend. That's another option if you are on a budget and you just want something quick just to get from your house or your destination where you're getting sent off to your destination where your prom is. The last option I would say is just go through a rental place and just go to a dealership and try to rent a car like that. The only thing with that is you have to have a co-signer older than 25, I think, if it's a luxury, luxury car. The driver has to be older than 25, I think, and the person renting the car has to be older than 25. It may be 25 or it may be older than that. I don't know, but they definitely don't let minors or anything like that purchase cars or rent cars. So that's another option. But if you're like me and you're doing all this shit by yourself and your grandparents not gonna rent out no car for your ass, then you just might have to beat around the bus. So my next tip, y'all, very, very, very valuable. Do not do everything the day before. Do not try to do everything the day before. Do not get stuck doing everything the day before because bitch, you will run yourself motherfucking crazy, okay? I'm telling y'all that right now, you will run yourself nuts. <laughs> Listen, y'all, I had to get my pants tailored the day before. I had to finish making my prom shirt. I didn't go to sleep the night of prom, bitch. I got two hours of sleep the night of prom because I was up all night making my prom shirt. Do not do everything the night before or you will be looking stupid, bitch. Get all your shit done early. It would just lift a huge weight off of your back. Please try to get everything done early. Try to get everything done in a timely manner. If you can't get it done early, try to get it done at the beginning of the week. If your prom is at the end of the week, try to get everything done by the beginning of the week so you can have the rest of the week for error or anything that you have to change because you don't want to wait until the day before and then you find out some shit is fucked up and then your prom day is the next day. Then you run around that morning looking like a chicken with your damn hair cut off because you waited to the last minute and then bitch you have your makeup appointment you have your hair appointment that day you have all of that shit so then it's just a whole bunch of shit piled on top of each other and then you have to get the car and then you have to get into the dress you have to it's, it's just too much just do everything try to do everything in a timely manner i'm telling y'all that right now i just did almost everything the day before and i do not recommend it i almost so next tip, very, 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 very important. Almost more important than the last tip. Make sure to try to give yourself at least, at least an hour or two hours before your actual send off, before you actually have to come out the house. Try to make it back home to your home and start getting ready at least two hours before. You don't want to make it back from your hair appointment 30 minutes to 15 minutes before you have to leave out the motherfucking house, bitch. You looking like who did it in motherfucking why running everywhere and you walking out the house sweating your damn makeup off. It would just make you more relaxed and your nerves won't be so bad because I know a lot of people who did this and their nerves are very bad and their prom experience was just very bad overall so to make your prom experience enjoyable try not to stress yourself out try not to be so anxious definitely make sure to give your makeup artist and your hair artist a good amount of time because nine times out of ten you are not the only client that day nine times out of ten they have ten other motherfucking heads that they have to do because those other nine girls are going on prom as well so make sure to arrive on time or damn near early to all your appointments Make sure to just be on time, on time, on time, because timing, y'all, that is the most important thing in prom and graduation and just any event. So my next tip is to just relax, bitch. Just take a breather, bitch. If you're stressed out right now, I know, bitch, I know I've been there. I've been in your shoes last year. I was there. I'm already knowing. And keep in mind that you only have one prom, unless you just that bitch to go to everybody prom. Mostly, only people only have one prom. Make sure to enjoy yourself. Make sure not to get too caught up in the glitz and the glam and, you know, looking a certain way. Because I know now in this day and age, prom, it's a very high standard for prom. Like, you didn't snap unless you had a G-Wagon with a $5,000 dress on coming out of a motherfucking carriage, bitch. Do not get caught up in all of that. At the end of the day, people are going to look at your pictures and be like, oh, she looked cute or, oh, she didn't look cute. And they gonna forget about it. The person who really has to remember this day is you. So make sure that you're enjoying this day for you and you're not letting anybody else make it their day. Make sure that you're making it about yourself because at the end of the day, it is your prom. Prom is just an event that is all about you. So definitely take advantage of that shit because bitch, I know I did. <laughs> bitch, I honestly could have stayed home, but bitch, I just wanted to look cute. Bitch, I wanted to pop a fit, bitch. I wanted to look cute. So <laughs> that's why I went, but honestly, Bitch, I could have saved home. I could have saved my motherfucking money. Still spent around like, I want to say like 800, 900, pushing like 1K for my whole prom experience. So you definitely do not have to spend a couple bands to have a good prom experience. Do not get fooled by social media. Do not get fooled by all of these motherfuckers spending $10,000 just for one ass day because that's honestly so fucking stupid. And I wish I motherfucking would. Well, honestly. 
If I got the coin, baby, why not? I'm not even finna sit up here and lie to y'all and say that I wouldn't have went all out because I probably would have. If you don't have the coin, don't pressure yourself and, and don't try to spend your last coin on Prime because it's just not that serious. Trust me. All right, guys. So those are all of the tips that I will be sharing in today's video. If you don't already, guys, don't forget to follow me on my Instagram and Twitter. They are both Alpha Lewis III, the same as my YouTube name. I love you all so, so, so much. And I will see you all in my next video. Bye, bitch.